there she is here at the bottom. That's the queen right there. All right, here's the bees. You can see they're in between these boards and they seem pretty calm. Not trying to sting me, so that's nice. But uh, they go all the way up this wall, see little holes in here. Probably go all the way up to the wall, up to the ceiling. Here's the top, top of the windows. So we've got to take this off here. What's this called? Uh, I guess it's like a, like a looks like a roofing side. material. Yeah, some sort of shingle siding. But uh, the boards here are what's this? 12 inch. One by 12, yeah. yeah, one by 12s. See bees are on this side too. So these are nailed in here, so I ought to be able to take these off. They've been here a while. See how the wood stain? Kind of that dark, dark coloration there. They've been here for a pretty good while. So they did some sort of spray foam in here, and you see where the bees have chewed this stuff because between all these gaps you got the spray foam insulation so I guess they just use this to kind of seal the gaps in between the, the uh, wood so here's another open cavity here and I don't see any bees inside this I got me some help today Steve <laughs> Phelps hey getting some bees oh yeah he's helping me out here now Steve is not a beekeeper, but you helped somebody with bees one time before. Yep. So you know what you're doing. <laughs> Man, they way over in here, Richard. Oh, are they? Yeah. See, we're just taking this uh, siding material off here. Good grief, it's all the way up there too. Looks like a pretty big colony. I'm getting exposed. So this is the first time I've seen this. The studs do run horizontal. See the stud in there? So the hive doesn't go all the way up the wall. It runs through the studs just like that. So they're in all these little cavities. They stop here, they don't go past this. But you can see bees in here. They're over here. I see some honey right there. And then they go over here. So they may run to this edge of this air conditioning unit where the window frame is but they don't go any below this because there's another stud here so yeah there it is No, they're not aggressive at all, are they? Uh. Now, if they're aggressive, they'd be eating us up right now. Oh yeah, they're not. They're now, these are calm, calm as cucumber. May get shed in the bee suit. <laughs> Yeah, I see the comb back here behind it. Oh yeah, we're good. It's, it's uh, just a little bit attached. I got some coming off right here. It's okay. All right, let me try to pull these nails. Okay. You see the nest back here. Oh, these are some calm bees. Gosh. See some honey dripping. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit uh, right there attached. Uh, I got a bunch of bees on the back of this. Tell you what, let me just suck these bees off. There's part See of the, the nest right there. Yeah, that'd be nice if she was in there. See some drones. My little boy, Parker, he loves drones. It's the male bees, these yeah. big, big bees up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's some good They don't honey. have a stinger. 
See, drones can't sting you. So they're basically like playing with beetles. And yeah. My four-year-old, he loves playing with drones. All right, there's your hive. It's exposed. Part of the honey came out here. So it's some good honey, too. But a piece of comb broke off. And it's the craziest thing because the queen was on that piece of comb. See if you can see her in here. There's a lot of bees in there. There she is here at the bottom. That's the queen right there. So Steve, that's some good luck there. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> I mean, that does not happen. That one little piece, it fell off. Because look at all the bees in here. Now, she would have been well hidden. So this is a huge colony. But we got some good honey too. Y'all bring me a spoon. Uh, <laughs> I don't have some. We got some spectators Where'd over there. Where'd you get some from? Get you good too. Oh. This is pretty honey there. Capped off, ready to go. These bees Looks are really like calm. Looks like goes back. I know, it's unreal how calm these bees are. I got most of the bees sucked off. There's still a lot of bees to go. But you got some pollen. Look at the pollen in there. You got some brew, that's your baby bees right there, inside there where the little cappings are. And these cells, I know it's hard to see, but they are full of eggs and larvae, little baby bees inside there. All right, so now I'm sucking the bees into my vacuum rig. And this does not harm the bees, it doesn't kill the bees. It's just sucking them gently into my catch box. Now I've got a catch box over there, and that's to trap the bees in, but i got to control the suction so it doesn't harm the bees. There are a lot of honeybees in this colony. Just slowly suck them up. What I'm doing, I'm cutting sections of comb out that has brood, which is the baby bees in there. And also I'm gonna take some uh, pollen and nectar and honey. That way the bees will have resources immediately and they won't have to basically start over. So we're gonna put these frames into their new home. That's gonna be the new home right there. And uh, Steve's over there putting those in. So when I transfer the bees from my vacuum box to that box, they'll immediately be able to start working and the uh, chance for survival is much, much higher if you take resources for them. We got a lot more to go. Yeah. All right, here's Richard. We're finishing <laughs> up. <laughs> Almost done. We're fixing to get this taken care of and put the wall back. And Steve over here behind the camera, he's the carpenter. He's, he's the guy who knows how to put all this back together. <laughs> It's, yeah, then he's got another stop, and I don't get to go with him on the next one. <laughs> I wish you could. Why don't you come on, load up with me? We'll go to the next five. Yeah. yeah. Overall, um, these bees are pretty calm. Yeah. According to Richard, I mean that's, that's amazing. Um, well, you've done bees before, though. Yeah, I've helped with it, and they were kind of calm too. But yeah. Uh, they just these are really calm, and, but uh, like Richard said. Uh, Good hive, a healthy hive, and a lot of bees. And no one's got stung yet. And I, I'm not wearing a glove on one hand with the camera, <laughs> so yeah. So. They brought us some Jack's biscuits. We'll put, oh, that was awesome. We'll plug Jack's here. Yeah, but, we, uh, we got a breakfast. Had fresh honey for a biscuit, that's for sure. <laughs> That Charles brought the, the owner. Yeah, Charles. Brought us the jack. That was nice of him for that. I was hungry. Yeah. Been up since four o'clock this morning. Man, yeah. And I didn't go to bed at two. Yeah, you're catfishing. <laughs> so, uh, catfishing, honey. Just realized I forgot to get video of the ending of it. We wrapped it up, but uh, cleaned all the, the rest of the comb out. Uh, saved the honey. I saved the baby bees so the bees will have more resources. 
and uh, new bees hatching out, also pollen and nectar and things like that. So it was a really healthy hive, got the queen, um, got her on like the first comb that came out, which was awesome. But uh, anyway, big thanks to Steve for helping me out. That was, that was awesome to have some help. Uh, he knows what he's doing with carpentry work, so it's kind of nice to have somebody uh, there to help out with that. But, so now I'm heading over to Geiger to uh, do the other removal, so I'll have video of that uh, on my YouTube channel. Y'all have a good one.